Let's look at a couple more examples of evaluating algebraic expressions. Remember, an algebraic expression is an expression that has variables in it along with some mathematical operations. Evaluate means to find the value of. So if we have an algebraic expression with a bunch of variables, it's hard to find the value of that expression unless we are given values for those variables. So once those unknown values are revealed to us, we can then replace the variables with those values and find a numerical result for that expression. So let's look at what we're given in this situation. Evaluate the expression for x equals 20, y equals 4, and z equals 2. So I'm going to start just by writing down those values so I don't lose track of what they are. x equals 20, y equals 4, z equals 2. This is a good habit so that I don't have to keep looking back and forth to see where the values of the variables are. I have it right in front of me on my paper. So the first expression to evaluate is x minus y plus z. Well, I can't evaluate an algebraic expression unless I have the values for those variables. And thankfully, someone let me know what they are x equals 20, y equals 4, z equals 2. So I'm going to replace the variables with their values in my next step. x is 20, y is 4, z is 2. Now that I have a numerical expression, I simply follow the order of operations to evaluate this. First, addition and subtraction from left to right, 20 minus 4 is 16. So then I have 16 plus 2, which is 18. Beautiful. All right, let's take a look at the next expression I'm given. x divided by y minus z. Okay, so I have a fraction. No big deal. I just replace the variables with the values that I'm given. x is 20 y is 4, z is 2. So I have 20 divided four by 4 minus 2. Fraction bars give us grouping, so the numerator and the denominator are grouped separately. So I will evaluate the denominator first. 4 minus 2 is 2. So I have 20 divided by 2, which is 10. So we can evaluate algebraic expressions when we are given values for the variables. Terrific!